This is a what I eat in a week pregnancy edition. I love recording these videos. I think it's such a fun way to just get meal inspiration when you're kind of in a rut, get some ideas. And I think pregnancy is just a whole nother level of having so many different elements, including cravings and wanting to have the right nutrients. And it has just been so much fun for me to really especially dive into nutrition and meals. However, I will say that this is a very realistic version because this week is a little bit more chaotic. If you guys don't know, we just moved into this house. This is really the first week of us being here at home in a normal routine and so I am trying to cook a lot more from home this week but we're also traveling at the end of the week. We have friends in town and so normal life is also there too. I am by no means an expert. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nutritionist. I think that you should always follow your doctor's guidance especially during pregnancy and I'm also not perfect. I don't eat perfectly healthy. I don't eat all the nutrients and vitamins that I should but I'm trying my best as we all are and so I still wanted to share this video with you guys. I did want to start off by sharing the supplements I've been taking. This is not sponsored. I feel like every time you hear about supplements you're just waiting for the ads. <laughs> Section, but I love all these products and I've especially gotten some questions about the prenatal I've been taking and the one that has been working really really well with me right now is from Thorn. This is also the prenatal that my midwife has recommended and I will say it is quite a few pills to take so for the first trimester this was not the easiest for me, but I really love the ingredients in it. I think it's a great quality prenatal, so I take this, but this doesn't have DHA in it, which is really, really important, especially during pregnancy. And so I also do take their prenatal DHA on top of this. And then gut health is also really important right now. Pregnancy can really cause a lot of gut health issues. And so I personally have been taking the C probiotic pre and probiotic for years now, I think, probably at least a year and a half at this point. So I've been continuing taking this. My midwife also really recommended the seed brand, said this is great. And so this is one that I also would recommend. Again, I always recommend asking your midwife, your doctor about supplements. I am not a doctor. And so this isn't to say that you should take these, but if you're in the market for some good ones to ask your doctor about, ask your midwife about, I would highly recommend these brands personally. Good morning. I just rolled out of bed. I feel like my face is still waking up. It's about seven o'clock on Monday and we are getting a workout in this morning. And so I wanted to eat just something small. I usually do like to eat before I work out. I was doing this before I was pregnant, but especially now that I'm pregnant, I do find that I am pretty much ready to eat breakfast right when I wake up. I'm just gonna eat something light and then I do one coffee day right now i feel really comfortable doing this this is something that my midwife has said it's totally fine and for me i just try to keep it at one coffee a day and so i'll usually do that in the morning and i kind of need a boost this morning i'm going to try to run this morning so i'd like to have a little bit of caffeine these bananas are huge but i'm gonna have one of these and some iced coffee <laughs> the gym i just made myself some breakfast i just did an english muffin with a fried egg and then an extra egg on the side i've really been trying to eat plenty of eggs because they have a lot of good proline i believe is really great for just baby development and so did that with some cheese a little bit of avocado avocado also has a lot of folate which is great and potassium and then i did some fruit on the side and it was delicious i've been really liking making little like breakfast sandwiches in the morning they've been my go-to it is lunchtime i've just having a work day at home and i was gonna make some frozen sweet potato gnocchi that i have in the freezer from trader joe's but i remember that i'm making a turkey pasta tonight so i don't really want to do pasta and in that case one of my favorite just quick lunches to do is just to make a snack plate. I'm gonna do some cheese and crackers, some deli meat, which I do still eat, but I just heat it up. That's what I do. Again, you can ask your doctor. I heat it up to where it's pretty hot and I feel comfortable doing that. So we're gonna do some deli meat and then I'm also gonna do some carrots and hummus and that should be good. We'll see if I add anything else. It's only been a couple of hours since I had lunch, but I am kind of having a sweet tooth today. And so I'm gonna try something that I've never done before. I've seen these kind of healthier frozen banana chocolate snicker creations. And so I'm gonna try to do it. Essentially you just slice up a banana, you put some peanut butter in the middle, and then you melt chocolate and let it freeze in the freezer. You can also top it with some peanuts too. So we're gonna see how it turns out.
time for dinner. I'm making a recipe that I've made before, once before, but it is so good. It's a kale turkey pasta bake. I especially love making this during the beginning of the week because it is so good to have as leftovers. I feel like leftover pasta is just, just the best. And so we're gonna make this. I'll probably pair it with some sort of side salad. I always like to get some sort of greens in in the evening time. But yeah, this one is just such a good recipe. You have to try this one. I'm also using this Bonza chickpea pasta. I have no problem just eating regular pasta, but I like how this one just has pretty good amount of protein in it. It's just a lot more filling. So we're gonna use these. It is 7.30, I'm making myself some breakfast. It's a very rainy, gloomy morning, and so I wanted to make myself oatmeal, but I realized I don't have my quick oats that I just cook in the microwave. And so I guess we're just gonna do some old-fashioned stovetop slow cooker oats. These are all I have, and I'm really feeling like that. So we're gonna do that with some peanut butter, sliced banana, cinnamon, honey. Lunchtime. It literally looks like evening time right now because there's about to be a giant storm, but I'm gonna make some lunch I'm just gonna heat up some leftovers from last night We have so much pasta leftover and honestly leftover pasta just tastes so good So I'm just gonna make a bowl of that for lunch and that is pretty filling I feel like usually when I eat something like that I don't need a ton of snacks throughout the day, but we'll see what I'm feeling like later Also not sure why I've been into the pointing here lately <laughs> about 3 30 and i'm headed to the gym so as a little pre-workout i'm gonna have a couple of my little snicker bites that i made i just realized though when you actually make these how you're supposed to i believe you're supposed to do it with dates not bananas i actually don't have dates i thought i had dates but i should try it with those but for now i'm just gonna have a couple of these they're really really good i was really impressed usually these kind of healthier snacks just don't exactly hit that that well but these we're so good. For dinner this night, Aiden and I went for a little date night and we got some shrimp cocktail to start us off. And then I ended up getting, these were supposed to be fish tacos. I believe they were blackened cod, but they didn't look like tacos, but they were so good. I had it with a side of a kale salad and then also we got a side of coleslaw to It's split. Wednesday morning, I'm ready for some breakfast and we are gonna have a veggie omelet today. Although I don't have a ton of veggies, I really just have spinach. So I think we're just gonna do that with some eggs and then probably some fruit on the side. I'm thinking a granny smith apple that's been my favorite pregnancy kind of craving right now that has been since the first trimester anything just really sour has really sounded good so we're gonna have that i did want to say that right when i woke up i did get some work done and so i did have a perfect bar in the morning i don't have any to show you because i ate my last one but i really really like those they are probably not the best ingredients in the world but they are so tasty and it's kind of a good snack especially before a workout anything to kind of hold me over until my real breakfast and so that is what we had today. I am doing three eggs, by the way. I'm hungry for lunch. I am yet again just heating up turkey pasta, which is nothing exciting. Again, I kind of wanted to create more recipes for this video and just try new things to give ideas, but I also wanna be realistic that with pregnancy, I 
am trying to rest a little bit more and not do kind of unnecessary tasks. And if I have food in the fridge, I'm just gonna go ahead and eat it. And so we're gonna heat that up for lunch and I've shown it already multiple times, so I'm not gonna show it, but yeah, it's a winner. I would recommend that recipe if you're trying to find one. I'm about to run some errands, but I'm definitely ready for a snack. And so I'm gonna make something that I really haven't eaten before, but for some reason sounds good. And that is a banana peanut butter protein smoothie. I recently got this protein powder in the mail, which is pregnancy safe. I feel like a lot of them, you kind of have to check the ingredients, but this one is Bob's Red Mill almond protein powder and it seems to be good I've had this in our pantry for a while not too long it's not expired by any means but I'm gonna use this because I am trying to get plenty of protein right now for one just to keep me full but also it is great for baby's development too so we're prioritizing that and this also just kind of sounds good today I'm using my mini food processor because I still don't have a blender my mom got me a gift card to Williams Sonoma to get one and I still haven't gotten it because when I went in store they were all $500 and I just did not want to spend that much and so I need to order one adding in one ripe banana big scoop of peanut butter, a couple scoops of this protein powder, some milk, and then also just a little bit of ice. That's the stuff, so good. It is dinner time and I am so thankful. This is not sponsored, but our every plate just came in the mail. It's the meal kit delivery service that we do. We typically do it once or twice a month. And I love when this comes because I had nothing for dinner tonight and I was just gonna whip something up, but this sounds amazing. I've never actually tried this recipe, but I'm gonna make this sweet potato and bell pepper curry over garlic basmati rice. Doesn't that sound so great? We have the kit that does usually one meal with meat in it and then two veggie. You know, every now and then I think it's nice to just try something new and this just sounds really delicious and warming and also it'll be great because we should have at least one meal left over that I can have for lunch tomorrow which we love leftovers so especially curries those are always really good second day too so I'm gonna work on this pour myself probably I don't think we have any fun drinks but pour myself some sparkling water and have a nice little cooking session <laughs> ready for some breakfast this morning and I haven't made these in a while but this just sounds really good I also am trying to go through a ton of these bananas are about to go bad because they're about to go on a trip so I'm gonna make some banana pancakes they're really really simple all I do are two eggs a banana a splash of milk cash always starts going crazy when he needs to go for his walk I need to walk him I just got back from the gym but I'm also gonna throw in some oats in here and some cinnamon I eyeball everything and just see kind of the texture that I want for pancakes, but I'm sure you can find exact measurements, but they're really simple, taste really good. I might actually add in some of the protein powder too. I might do that too, just to make them a little bit more filling. And then I usually top it with maple syrup and some peanut butter, really simple. Okay, the pancakes look burnt. I promise they're not. It's just because of my oil, but they look good. It is currently 95 degrees and I just needed a nice treat to cool me off. So I'm stopping by Chick-fil-A and I'm grabbing an ice cream cone. They have my favorite ice cream here. Let me know your favorite fast food ice cream cone because mine is definitely Chick-fil-A. I love that it's icy and yeah, it just sounds really good right now. 
I have been such a flop at recording what I've eaten today because we leave for a trip tomorrow and so it has just been running around like a crazy person. For lunch today, I had leftovers from that curry. I had that at like 11.30, I was really hungry this morning and so we had that. And then I was running into an appointment, grabbed that ice cream cone and I just ate leftovers, the last of our leftovers from the turkey pasta. But I ate it while I was packing and totally forgot to record it. So my brain these days is just, not working how it used to, but tomorrow we are actually traveling. So it'll be fun to share kind of what I'm eating throughout the travel day, trying to find some healthier options here and there and being on the go. So I will catch you guys tomorrow for a day of traveling. We started off our travel day pretty early Friday morning. I will have an entire vlog of our trip up to New England, so definitely look out for that. I had breakfast on the plane. I had an omelet with some potatoes and fruit. It was really good. I didn't record my lunch, but I just got a salad and some chicken tortilla soup. I also had some cheese and crackers as a snack. And then for dinner, Aiden grilled us some salmon. We also had some bread and salad as well. That is it for today's video. I hope this gave you guys some inspiration. And I also just wanted to put this in here too, that during my first trimester, what I was eating was quite different than now in my second trimester. I am 18 weeks when I'm recording this and I just wanna say that you gotta do what you gotta do. I don't want this video to be like, this is how you have to eat when you're pregnant, look how healthy everything is, because that was just not realistic for me. For the first trimester, I was eating a lot of chicken nuggets, a lot of greasy food, because for some reason that's all that really sounded great. If you told me to eat a salad, spinach, Honestly, still, they're not my favorite things, but we're all just trying our best. So also just wanted to mention that here at the end, but thank you guys so much for being here. I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye friends.